just in a terrorizing kind of mood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Good morning guys, I don't know if you can hear him purring. Good morning, oh look at your little eyes, need to clean those. Mm. <laughs> so we thought we would do a day in the life this morning, well today, um, just to show you Echo's days, they've changed quite a bit since he was a kitten, I mean he still runs around the house, needs feeding and it's just lovely, <laughs> but he's grown quite a lot and I think his play has progressed quite a lot too. So of his cuddles, to be honest, is just so much more cat now, aren't you? He's dying to get out of my arms, so I'm going to let him go. Ooh. Go on, off you pop. Oh gosh, so the mornings usually start um, about half seven, eight o'clock, whenever he wakes me up. Every day is completely different. It's just my scratching post right now. Um, but yeah, every day is different, so some days he wakes me up by cuddling me, some days he's gone to his litter tray and that's what wakes us up. <laughs> this morning he's in a really playful mood and so the first thing that woke me up was him jumping on my belly and then jumping up onto the headboard which I caught on camera um, so that's how he woke me up this morning which is adorable every day a different day um, this morning he's really playful so I don't think he's even really that hungry I think he's eating biscuits this morning which is why he's got so much energy so I'm just gonna have a good play with him until he wants to eat his food I'm following my bluff. Are you hungry? Yeah I didn't think you were this morning. Do you want some food? You do? Oh, I best feed you then, eh? We can't have you starving. Oh, Bubba. Alright, let's change of plan. <laughs> so, we've actually been feeding him this food from Luna and me. Um, it's a different type of raw food to what I was having before and it's just all in individual portions which makes it so much more easy because he was wasting so much of the other one whereas every day there's just a patty and it's just so much easier to portion it out and know exactly how much he's eating so I've been preferring this though we did buy him the little tinker we bought him <laughs> the selection pack and he will only eat the chicken so I guess he's got um I don't know he just doesn't like for like good friends, he only likes his chicken. I'm gonna feed him now because he's just squawking. Oh dear me. Sorry. You're a hungry boy this morning, Bubba. Are you? Yeah. Oh dear me, I've heard of it. Yeah. So I've just put about Mm, maybe just under half of the patty on there and I just mix it with water just so that it's a bit more liquid. <laughs> oh dear me, you would think the world was ending Echo. <laughs> Come on. You can hear him instantly purr and he always brushes my arm to say thank you. There you go, good boy. Yum yum, will you enjoy your breakfast? So he's finished with this, he didn't quite finish his portion, he usually like scratches the floor around it. I managed to miss that but I'm sure we'll catch it at some point today. <laughs> Echo's already gone upstairs, he usually goes and sits on the windowsill. I'm just going to take this coffee up for Dom and then sometimes we get cuddles in bed and sometimes he just wants to bite, bite our faces and play so <laughs> we'll see which one it is today. downstairs to start working for the day and this is where he spectates from. This is his step. If we come in after we've been out for the day you can bet that he'll be the here or here and it's going to be so cute as he grows because he's not going to be able to fit here very much longer and he's going to have to move down a step. <laughs> <Bless him. laughs> so I did buy him this 
cut grass from Amazon. I'll leave a link to it below and you just grow it. It's been growing for about just over a week now. Um, it's been really enjoying eating it. But this is how he starts most mornings. He really likes windowsills now. So we have this bed here, excuse the laundry half hanging off the radiator. Um, but he can jump onto here, onto here, and then over the back onto this one. I don't think he's quite brave enough to jump from the floor onto here yet. He's going to town on that. Is it nice? When he goes quiet, he's usually sat right there waiting for me to take him outside for the morning. Do you want to go out? It's going to be really cold. You going to put your coat on and your shoes? <laughs> him he likes the fresh air in the morning i think i'll take him out for a proper walk this afternoon once the floor isn't frozen but let's go bud shall we i know where the door is <laughs> i do come on now go ready So to be honest, we brought him out on his harness loads and he just wasn't interested in walking around very much. So usually he just likes to come out and be held and just take it all in, smell things and hear the birds and watch things. It's like his version of TV, I guess, but he really likes smelling everything. So I just like to sit out here with him <laughs> and he just enjoys it. I just make sure I've got hold of him, you know. Um, no wriggling to be done here. He's very, very calm. Um, but if anything did happen, I've got definitely got hold of him and never let him go. Whoa, what was that one? That was a big bird, right? Shall we play with? This is his new favourite toy. I cleaned under the sofa the other day. I'll see if I can find a picture. Um, I couldn't believe how many toys there were under there that just literally just pushes them all under. So they're all in this little basket here. We put them away and then he just goes over to it in the morning and gets out what he wants. notice this butterfly and you might recognize it so this used to be on that um i don't know what it was like battery operated thing that flapped around in a circle so that broke uh, within a month of him having it so it was a good toy but he was just so he just loved it so much that he just broke it basically um so we took the butterfly off and it's just this like plasticky butterfly and i just tied string around it and now he loves this toy and he can grab it and there's like loads of teeth marks and i don't know if you can see um, but it's completely safe, you know, we can't really, nothing can really go wrong with it. So I'm much happier with this than I was with the flappy thing. <laughs> and he just says I was of fun and I could just put it on top of him and he doesn't really know what to do with himself. <laughs> you like it, don't you? It's 
some of your favourites. But it kind of looks like a real butterfly, so. So Echo is just under five months old now, bless him, he was born in August. Um, I can't believe how much he's grown, I can't believe we've nearly got a six month old, that's crazy. Time has flown by, so we've had him since November and it's now January, so we've had him for two months, so we had him all of November and all of December and now we're into Jan, so that's flown by and I can't imagine life without him now. It just makes life so much better, especially when we're all at home all the time. Um, I just can't imagine being without him. I love when he does that. <laughs> so cute. When he was a lot smaller, he used to do this. <laughs> Basically, that always used to happen because he couldn't touch both sides. But he's so tall now, aren't you? A little fluffy belly boy. <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to do a baby voice. It's something that I'm trying to grow out of. Um, it's, just, it's just so cute and it really brings it out of me. Um, thank you all for bearing with me in my past videos where I've just been like, ooh, echo, do 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 do. <laughs> if any of you do a baby voice with your pets, I would love to know because when you hear yourself back on a video, you think, oh my God, what even? <laughs> What else shall we play with? I love that this is his favourite toy of all, just the tag on the bag. <laughs> he also really likes these um, wicker, I don't know if it's wicker or seagrass baskets. I'm just going to throw a load of things at him and see what he goes for. Oh, that's got his interest. Hey Echo, what's this? Ready? <laughs> he really likes those springs, they're his favourite. obsessed with this plant so if you've got any advice for what we can do let me know um <laughs> obviously we've got his scratching post really close to it which isn't the best thing we could have done but i'm just trying to distract him so when he comes over here he remembers he can scratch that instead so i've just put this tin foil around the base because what he does is he gets inside the basket and he basically lays in the soil like in a big c shape which is less than ideal because He's killing this plant and I've had it for like five years and I don't want it to die. There was basically a day where we covered the entire thing in cl um, cling film, in kitchen roll. Kitchen roll, no. Tin file, it's too early, way too early. <laughs> um, but it, to be honest, it made him want to play with it more. So it was just like jumping off things to get onto it, which is not good. Um, I think it's a bit of a naughty behaviour. I think it's just when he wants some more attention. So we've just been trying to distract him every time. And so far it's working quite well. He's gone back to his basket now. What do you want to play with now, Echo? Hey? I don't know what it's found there. <laughs> I'm dying to look underneath is <laughs> here. I can't even imagine how many toys there are and just little bits of stuff under here. So like if we're eating a sweet or something, we'll always throw the wrapper because the crunchy sound he loves. And um it will always end up pushing them under the fridge or under a sofa or just under anywhere that he can't get, like under the washing machine. <laughs> so all these places are just filled with stuff. I'm wondering if he wants some more food because he tends to snack in the morning. Ready Echo? Slippy. Oh, there we go. One's down there now. <laughs> Goodbye forever, pom pom. Wow, that was athletic. Hello, boy. 
finish your breakfast. Yeah. All right. Here you go. It sounds like Dad's up now. Update on his cat me is he loves it and he uses it all the time. We've moved it around quite a bit in the last few months just due to Christmas, but this is now its final resting place. Um, and yeah, he just drinks so much from it, which is great. Oh, what's he doing now? Troublemaker. <laughs> we just put a little towel underneath to stop the sound because it's quiet, but the motor sometimes, because we've got hardwood floors, it's just a bit unbearable. So anyway, like that, I don't even notice it and can't even hear it. And then the whole thing comes apart. It's, there's like a hair floating around in it, so maybe I need to <laughs> clean this today. But I'll clean it every, like, I don't know, three or four days. Um, just change the water out and give it a good scrub because we don't want any bacteria growing in here. But I highly recommend these. It's definitely upped his water intake and he does really enjoy drinking out of it. He's looking a little bit tired now. You had a good play. They played hard this morning. Who remembers from the first videos whoop, falling over, when he wouldn't even sit on this mat and now look at him. Here's a boy. Just a road sweeper, Bob. I know, it sounds like the world's ending, right? It's okay. <laughs> we live really close to a busy road. Well, it's not it's not a main road, but it is the main road through the village, and so there are a lot of cars, which is why we've kept him as an indoor cat. I mean, ragdolls are supposed to be indoor anyway, um, but as you can see, like he's just completely spooked by noises that he doesn't understand. So, definitely glad that we didn't choose to get a cat that could go out. Good boy, it's okay. This is his other favourite spot in the house. He loves to sit underneath the avocado plant for some reason. Um, sometimes we find little paw prints in here where he's just like been digging in the dirt. <laughs> but he likes to just watch the birds, I think, and just have a perusal around. Where are you off to? Hey. He can't actually jump up here by himself yet, so we have to put him up onto the windowsill. Um, but he does jump back down quite happily, so I don't know, bless him. So Dom's working upstairs today and Echo's gone very quiet so I think either he's upstairs causing chaos with Dom or he's fallen asleep but either way I'm gonna go find him for you guys and we'll see what he's up to. He usually crashes about this time. He, he varies each day but generally he has like a 11 o'clock nap for like power hour and then he's crazy again until about 1 or 2. Um, so today obviously he's in a bit of a growing phase so he's sleeping a bit more so let's go find him. Are you enjoying the view? You're kind of precariously dangling off there. Oh. I love when he starts purring. <laughs> I've never felt so loved in my life. Lazy road. <laughs> Bye, Echo. He's sleeping so funny on my blessing. Okay. Okay, I'll put my coat on. Yeah? Deal. <laughs> Did you fall over? 
Oh, he's a happy boy. He's a happy boy. You gonna go play outside? Come on then. chopping wood for the log fire and it completely spooked him which is why it's good to always keep hold of your kitten and why I'm just so glad he doesn't go out by himself I can't imagine it he just got really scared and he turned around and he shot straight back for the door so at least he thinks that or knows that home is his safe place it makes me so happy when he just runs back to the door and has to be let back in um, but it did spook him quite a bit there we go so anyway he's back he's safe he's warm and we'll try it again later yeah yeah. Bless him. Good job, though. You did a good job. Scary noises outside, eh? So he's sat entirely on my chest right now. Um, <laughs> where shall I go here? I'll go here. So because of that, I will insert some clips of the other day it snowed for the first time this year and we took him outside and he just had such a good time. Um, he didn't move, he did one paw, one step forward and left one paw in the, uh, in the snow and it was so so cute. Um, he just was enjoying so much being outside and just looking at the snow and watching it fall in and he sat at the window for hours just watching it. So I will insert that now so you can see it. It's usually about this time of day, so we're still um, early afternoon, where I like to give him a good brush before he goes to sleep because he'll literally be asleep for the rest of the day. So when he's in that in-between phase between not knowing if he wants to be asleep or awake, give him a good deep brush and hopefully it'll relax him enough that he can go to sleep and have a really peaceful rest. Welcome to Echo's massage parlour. <laughs> I think it's his favourite time of day, to be honest. I'll listen to those purrs. So we'll even, he'll let me just pick up his little chin and we'll go under there. Good job. It's hard to do when I've got a woolly jumper on. <laughs> Cagging yourself as you push into it. So I like to give him a good deep brush and get all of these places when he's feeling very relaxed because he lets me. We brush him every single day and since we, the day we got him, he's never had a single knot, has he? No. So I think that's really key. Um, I know he's gonna get much bigger and much fluffier than this, but he's a pretty fluffy cat. Um, so, right, so we turn him over like this and then we brush this side, don't we, Echo? <laughs> we don't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm not sure, feeling a bit, mm, I, wanna, I wanna go. I wanna go, to be honest. No. Come on, we're staying. <laughs> okay, we've well done that bit. And we'll flip him over the other side. Sausage sizzle. Psst. That's it. I like to get in behind his ears when I do that. I think the key to brushing is obviously having the breeder brush them, um, but then being consistent and just making it part of the daily routine and something they really enjoy. So he just really enjoys this. We've never given him treats or anything after. I think he just enjoys the affection, <laughs> which is really nice. And I like it because then I know he's not in any pain with any knots and things like that. <laughs> oh dear, these paws. <laughs> <laughs> Yawn, 
enjoy eating this <laughs> apple. Oh, to be a cat, eh? Mm. To be a cat. Look at these little feet. So fluffy. I want to show you guys something. So this paw has got three um, dark paws, paws, beans, three dark beans and one pink. And then on this one, it's the opposite. So his pink beans are the opposite on each foot. How cute is that? I <laughs> love how tufty they are now. Bless him. And these ones are a little bit different. Like mixed beans. Mixed bean salad. Mm. Hello? Can I help you? <laughs> it's got a death glare going on right now. Uh, hello? Do you want to come up? What is this? Editing friend. You need to go to sleep. And that can't be comfy on your little head. So it's nearly four o'clock and he is gone. <laughs> Bless him. So this is going to be him now asleep in various positions until probably about 8pm tonight. Oh how cute is that? What a guy. I love him to bits. <laughs> that can't be comfy. Goes <laughs> tea time again. So it's five o'clock now and he's just woken up from his nap to go outside and just have a little bite to eat. So I know I'll get a million questions about what we actually feed Echo. So in the daytime we feed him the raw food by Luna and me and then on an evening we usually give him something like this. So this is Blink cat food which is all natural, um, grain free, no sugar added, 100% natural ingredients. We are going to change him back to the tinned food so it was called Thrive, that's what we had him on to begin with. So it was just chicken and I was much happier with how wet that food was compared to these. Um, and I like the fact that they could be recycled as well. So we're nearly out now. Um, we've got some on order, but we've got tuna and salmon for tonight. So hopefully he's in the mood for some tuna and salmon. What do you think, Echo? <laughs> do you want this? Yum. All right, I'll put it on plate and shall I? Oh dear. <laughs> Ready?
So since we had Echo neutered about, how long ago was it? A month? Quite a bit longer even. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's been a while, it's flown by. Um, I've just noticed this change in him in the last few, I would say a few days, it's not really been a long time. He just kind of sits and takes in the world, like every other cat I've ever known in my life, you know, like they just have this moment where we just sit and they just look around and just watch things. He never used to do this, he was like either dead asleep or just running around like a crazy cat. There was never this like in between just peaceful echo, just chilling. So that's an interesting change. <laughs> Five months in and we've got a mostly chilled cat. Is it bedtime? <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Got a face. Those eyes don't look like it's bedtime. Oh no. <laughs> Come on. Don't mind me on this lovely machine. No, you're not supposed to go back down again. Come on, it's bedtime. Echo, come on. Come on. Okay, I'm going. Good, gets his energy out. Where's he gone? Is he gonna do a big jump? <gasps> he usually gets a really crazy burst of energy for about half an hour um, when I decide I'm coming to bed. He could be really, really sound asleep. Then as soon as I turn all the lights on, we come to bed, <laughs> he just turns into a psycho. It's so cute and he just literally just laps back and forth, back and forth. Sometimes he jumps in the bath. <laughs> He's got a hair grip. There is new obsession. Hair grips and bobbles. I mean, they're all over the house, so <laughs> make good toys. <laughs> is it bedtime now? Ha ha ha. 